Oh, you're on. Meeting's open? Okay. Okay, uh, the, today is Monday, October 25th, the airport commission meeting. The members here are John Lavoie, Jim Morrissey, and myself, and we have a guest, guest uh, Dakota Nielsen, and Jim Woods. Anybody have any old business that they want to review? No, sir. New business? Do you want to bring up? No? no. Okay, so our main agenda is to sign two contracts, two leases, one for Dakota Nelson and the other for Jerry Wood. So if you'd like to come up and sign these now, I have a pen ready to go. There you go. Three of them. To the Three of them, sir. Yeah. Uh, that's all done. That's all done. That's that's all done. This one here, yeah. yeah. Standard. In. Okay. Anywhere, right? Yes. And then the back page and indicate for the uh, yay and nay on the uh, awarding of this release. Yeah. That's it? That's one. The same for all three. Huh? Same thing for all three. I have another pen I could let you do. Okay. I'm left handed. Budget stuff. If I'm a left handed, you'd be, I'd be bumping him anyway. He's signing those. Uh, I can go over some of this other stuff. You can write and listen to, can't you, Jim? Yeah. Yeah. I can do that. Maybe that is. The taxes on building 10 now. Uh, the Templeton is charging each tenant over there. And I brought it up to our city solicitor. And he doesn't seem to be able to come up with anything. I was not wanting to. So. Okay. They're not individually owned, so how can they charge the tax? Well, that's what I don't understand. But I'm going to uh, see if I can get some guidance from the AOBA. Yeah. I haven't contacted them. Let's see what there is. They claim it's a commercial property, but I don't agree with that. It's a tenant. They don't make any money here. No. It's merely a storage area. Well, what were you going to get guidance from? AOPA. Okay. Yeah, we have to own some pilots or something. Right, right. We have a membership with them. Yeah. Yep. Well, I do. And right. Are you a member there? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we do. No. You're paying it anyway. No, yeah, it's not my hanger. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you're paying taxes in Templeton, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, you pay taxes to Templeton. Pay taxes to Templeton. Yeah. That's a different. That's that's a different individually owned. Yeah. Yeah. 
So anyways, I want to work on that. Uh, runway construction. The Gale, the MAC, and the Feds have been down here all this week surveying the airport, doing test borings. They did 30 test borings on the taxiway and the runway. And then they're going to give us a report as to what they're going to do to repair it. They said the base out there is very good, mostly sand. You know, we did that the last time. So they're pretty confident that uh, just be a kind of a surface repair. Yeah, they're going to grind it? I don't know if they're going to grind it so much they may. <coughs> they'll grind it and put, it, put the grinding style and use that for base. Yeah. yeah, they do that, I know. And they're going to put four inches of pavement on this time. There's three out there. Yeah. And then he mentioned a, a dip in the runway down here. Do you know of any dip? I drove down there. I remember, I don't remember feeling anything. No, and uh, there's a little bit of one, maybe not one. But did you see? Then, okay, you can feel it, you can't see. Oh, okay, well, I can feel it in, in the my, airplane. my airplane, yeah, okay, okay. Well, but it's, uh, they're gonna uh, fill that a little bit now. underneath that area. Evidently, there's some vegetation four or six feet down. We have only had that much settlement in what, 40 years. So. Well, this has been redone a couple of three times since I've been here. A couple of times. We hey, we've done it in 93 the last time. Was it 93 the last time it was done? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a while ago. That, when I first got on the commission, they they redid it. They re yeah, that was in 93. 93. And they finally did it because it was only like three or four years wasn't that. It didn't even go through a winter. Right. And it yeah, cracked. cracked all right. Then really they come in and redid it. Now, I don't think they've ever repaved it since then. No. No. Okay, so it's been 93. How many years is that? No. 93, 2003, 2013. 30 years. So, 30 years. Yeah. Yep. That's a pretty good investment. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I think we got our money's worth. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the only thing in eight. So I did. They bore down and there's some vegetation under there. The rest of it, there was We are surrounded by swamp here. They're going to make it narrower, though. Yes, they're going to make it 60 feet wide. I thought it was 65, but it's going to be 60. Still trying to convince them otherwise. Because they got 75 feet, a nice base out there. Yeah. You know. So in that process, are, are they also going to relocate all the runway edge lights? Hopefully uh, not. Uh -huh. I don't think they are. They're, it's going to be all new lighting. Well, is it all yeah. going to be new? All new lighting. Yeah. All that, the only thing that will be here probably is the rotating beacon. Because that's new. Is that going to be solar? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen this. Yeah, it might be. Here. Jaffrey's going through that right now. Solar? Yeah. I think they're going to... I know he's going to put some solar in it, extra ones. but. Yeah. Um, they took a little bit of the hill out up there. And they just paved it. And, is, uh, is the solar individual lighting, or is there a, each light has its own solar panel? Each light has its own solar panel. Okay. I think that's how they're and a battery. Yeah. yeah. I haven't heard what the lighting's going to be. I heard wire. Well, we'll see what the. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but. Yeah. They claim There's a ton of power to operate these. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no volt, no amperage, but. Or voltage. Yeah. 12,000 volts or more or something. Uh, to get out of the ground. Yeah. yeah. So, that's what they've done that, and we should be hearing from that in the next. Uh, uh, we'll make it easier if we knock one over, we just stand it back up. Yeah. As long as it doesn't damage it too bad. Yeah, but uh, yeah. how the drainage, the drainage should be okay and everything. Yeah, on the edges, you know. We just got to plow it wide enough so that we don't 
me and snowbags don't get along. I don't like it. <laughs> but well, I got room I can get. We, we do have the equipment now to keep the snowbags at a minimum with the new truck. Yep. Because we've it also does. got that snowball. Yep. And John's going to do something too. Yeah. I just thought we never use that thing. <laughs> <laughs> a new truck does a good, great job. Yeah. Anyway. It does a great job, but I think we're probably going to end up <coughs> having to push it back a little bit from yeah. the edge. Because you figure that gives you what, well, I'm usually where I push 10 feet on either side. Yeah. Well, he would don't. go to we would go to the edge of the pavement. Yeah, yeah but if you only got 60 20. feet of pavement, you got a 40 foot wingspan. You got 10 feet on each side. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean it'll be pushed to the pavement, hopefully with no windrows. You know, the truck throws it pretty yeah. good for right. Yeah. So if we get a lot of snow, you get now we got a two, well, that, you get like two or three feet of snow. That, then we'll have to use the snow. Yeah. 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 We should work on that thing because the auger don't work. I don't know what happened to that. You want some help on that? I mean, I'll give you a hand if you need some help. You want to hire somebody to? Yeah, I have somebody to work on all the equipment. I <laughs> need to do that because I'm not going to be here that much longer. I know. Yeah. Yes, they're going to have to. Get real around here. Yeah, definitely. That brings up the next subject. Um, airport manager. I talked to the mayor, and I think they're going to be voting this next month on uh, airport manager yeah. and a the salary. They had to wait till an the supplemental budget or something or other. Are you familiar with that, Sue? Okay. Anyways, I think they'll be. Uh, voting on that to create the position. Yeah. So, uh, I think you guys ought to be investigating somebody to do that. Yeah. You know, I'll leave that up to you guys because you're going to be working with you know. Uh, Kevin has some good input on that. He knows a lot of it. Okay. Yeah, you, you probably do too. You travel around. Hire somebody, and of course, the selling point here will be the volunteers that work here. Be an airport manager, but there's some good volunteers here. Anyways, that's that. We gotta sign the other lease, don't we? Do this before we get to the next one. See how easy I get sidetracked? <laughs> That's why it's time. Okay. There we go. Jerry Wood. Oh, Jerry Wood. Yep. Yeah, this is Dakota here, and that's Jerry Wood. Yeah. Can I ask Dakotas just to double check it? Sure. Sure, me too. I signed them, they'll go from us to the uh, mayor and the city solicitor. And you didn't sign this one. I didn't? Nope. Thanks for checking that. <laughs> just saying. To save Sue, because she climbed all over me. <laughs> oh no, I haven't signed that one. Probably. That's to Jerry. Yeah. Well, this went to Jerry. Right. Before I saw it. I gotta put the day that we're doing this. Today is the 25th. 25th. 25th of October. Okay. Oh. 
Somebody signed this. I did. Just now. You put it in the chairman's spot. Mm. Oops. <laughs> My mistake. That's he just mistake. voted himself in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. He yeah. is a new sheriff in town. As long as the signatures are there. <laughs> okay. Here, sign that one so I won't do the same thing. <laughs> Move the secretary's office back up to the city hall. Yes, she's in room two twenty six where it used to be. Oh, okay. With uh, a the, few others. Yeah, yeah. the. Uh, it used to be the engineering, engineering office, wasn't it? Engineering it used to. Be. <coughs> I'll take turn now. Well, my mother worked in that office too. What? What did you no. say? My mother. Oh. oh, no, she worked at the other end that, uh, the purchasing, purchase. yeah. Used to be welfare, yeah. I used to bring it in all the time, but then I, when I was down the other side, if there was, I mailed it the last couple of times, and just trying to, it was always fun to go in and see people. Right too, yeah. I went away for what? Twelve years. Yeah. <clears throat> and I've always worked out of town. I've worked in yeah. Connecticut. I worked down out in Westfield. Yeah. Twenty hours a day. I worked out of work town. Down I worked at Simplex for a year. That was it. And of course, Haywood Wayfield was a nice one. Well, everybody worked at kids. That's when we were kids. Well, I grew up in Gatton, and I still don't know anybody <laughs> <laughs> Well, I did, too. I've been here. Jeez. I spent five years in California. The rest of the time, I've been here, so. Yeah. Okay, so we got some more checking for you. See how we did on this one. How do we do on the other one? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. We'll get a silver star instead of gold. We have to catch up with the other commission member, which you can do, right? Yes. The rest I'll, of the uh, guys. I'll either send them to the city hall or you can go ahead and get to the rest of the signatures. 
and then I'll have them go down to the office or something. Okay. It's legal the way it is with the three signatures. Okay. It wouldn't hurt to have them all. Uh, and the last item, my uh, resignation or retirement or whatever. <laughs> I think I'm going to send a letter of resignation to be effective like the middle of November. To, uh, so that there's a transition and then I'll talk to the mayor. And I, got, I got a couple of names I'm going to give them, Jim Wood and Dave Urquhart. And do you guys have any names you'd like to put on the list, you know? Yeah. You're welcome. You don't have to do it. You can... I don't have to talk to my head. Yeah. But you can send them to, you know, to the mayor, whatever you want to do. But those are the ones. Because the ultimate selection is up to the mayor. Right, right. He can, he can put anybody he wants on the commission. So. But to help him out, I thought I'd suggest some good people. And after that, uh, I will be around. You won't be? I will be. Okay. I was going to say, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> to make the transition, and I'm, I've got a list of vendors that I've used that I'm going to patch the stuff. That's yeah, yeah, for respecting the, the tanks, fixing right. the fence. Just stuff like All the mundane stuff. Yeah. So I can help that. with some of what's recorded for bills that are paid. Right. It's What's just a matter of... I can look up old bills. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To see who did the work. Yeah. yeah. Most of them I had. But, yeah, that's another way of finding it. But if something comes up like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have a guy I use it. Put in this tank, this... Another company that does it too, that you know, whatever you prefer. Yeah. No, it's just a matter of keeping everything. Yeah. Moving, because you know, the day your regulation hits, the next day something's gonna break. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and you know, half the stuff is researching who you're gonna have. Right. And then it cuts the list down a little bit to some place to start. Uh, I did have the fuel weights and measures done and we're pumping a little extra fuel for each gallon. Uh, you know, pumping more than money. Mm. Mm. But I'd rather do that than not and shortchange everybody. Yeah. But I think we could get it close and I'm about to call the guy that does that to see if he can make yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know if the sewer is right now. Well for a couple of them. Because it's right it's gotta be done by double. No, I had uh, that guy in the door? Yeah uh, that was Neil Hir uh, Hirons for Hirons, years. yeah. Is he still going? Yeah, I haven't seen him in years. So. Not Neil Hyman. Neil Steve. Huh? Steve. Steve Hyman. Yeah. Yeah, he's a younger fellow. He was my neighbor. Was he? Yeah. Yeah, he came. He's done it twice now, last year and this year. So. Uh, I guess we're not losing anybody but money, but we might make a little more, especially with these digital gauges. So anyways, I'll have that. I've got pictures of the airport, I've got all kinds of other crap. I'll put on a memory stick. And then I got uh, the standard operating procedures, a book that was I put together a few years ago that I'll pass on. But that's also I have on a stick. But in that book I have, I got a whole bunch of other information of topographical maps of this area. Stuff you don't just get any day of the week, you know. Does, does, does the airport have a master plan? There is one we work on every five <coughs> years. And that changes. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think this month or next month. We just went over it. Right now, the big thing on it is the runway reconstruction. Okay. But yes, there is. And it's reviewed every five years, I believe. Is to, well, you know, we keep moving stuff around. Got an SRE building that's been on that master plan for, <laughs> for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, that, other things take prior priority. Yeah. But uh, anyways, I have that, and I'll put all that on. And then I 
because I have the keys to the kingdom here. And I brought him in tonight, but I think it takes two people to carry him. <laughs> I get keys for everything. Uh, that's for the airport. The hazard lights each have a... Oh, yeah. I got, I got all those keys. And there's some down in the office, too. Yep. Not all of them, but there's a, quite a few down there, too. I thought it's going to be making sure we know where, where, what, connected to what. I've labeled most yeah. of them. Okay. Yeah, I've labeled most of them so that because I didn't know what happened. We we really need to identify who they get turned over to, to. Um, prior to someone being named manager. Correct. Yeah. And I figured that would be the next chairman, for the time being. Oh right. Right, you guys will have, we'll have to have a meeting to vote a new chairman, correct? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. I'm trying to have a meeting the day I resign. Is that going to work? I don't know. And uh, that's the torch type of thing. So you're talking about November 15th-ish? Yeah, right yeah. What day is that? A Monday. A Monday? I have a meeting, a golf meeting that day. You need a different day. Mm -hmm. What's They're, good for you guys? Their meetings are always on Monday. Well, the week of the 15th is all open for me. Any day? How about the middle of the week? 17th. It's Wednesday. Sure. Sure. Okay. Sounds good to me. Can we do five o'clock? Wednesday, sure. Yeah. You'll be. And then I'll just leave work at four thirty. You normally work till four thirty. Okay. Yeah. Whatever's. I whatever left earlier place. today to to come over, but five o'clock works. Okay. Trying to do it on their computers now, and I hate that because I can always screw it up. I remember, EM, not AM. <laughs> <laughs> Done that too. Mm. Oh, well, you put one on that starts before it begins. <laughs> that, that drives it nuts. Okay, how am I going to put this one? Right. What do you normally have? One a month or one a one, Yeah, it's one, one a week. month. And in the past, we've had them, we've never had them on a set day because <coughs> Jim, myself, Andy would be gone, be gone, you know, we never knew when we just pick the next one before the... Yeah, yeah. but okay. now it's a little more stable, so you might be able to set a certain day of the month, you know. It's going to snow. Huh? It's going to snow. <laughs> Someday. Yeah, probably, probably the 17th. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, that is very possible. <laughs> Kangamangas had snow this week. They had a little bit, yeah. Mm. We had a pretty good frost Monday night. Was it Monday? Or? Yeah. yeah. No, that's Sun today's Monday. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday night. Yes. I was driving up here and it was um, Sunday. Everything was covered in frost. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we haven't had one. We usually have one. No, yes. Right We're way overdue, okay. right? Way overdue. Okay. So, I got the preliminary for the my retirement or resignation, or whatever you want to say. Uh, like I say, I will be, I'll try and get most of the information I have to you on sticks or whatever. And all the standard operating procedures. I have that bound book, but then I have sticks. Uh, and in that is templates for leases. Uh, yeah. It's that thick. And I did that a few years back. AOPA, while you're talking to them, has a whole thing about managers, what they should do. And 
what you put in place, they do. Yeah. I had, I stumbled. I had a class on it uh, a month ago. Yeah. I got to go back and look. Yeah. And I would, I would suggest you know that at one time you could just make a person manager, but there's much more to it nowadays with the bureaucracy, and they actually have college <coughs> courses for airport management. Oh yeah. So. And looking for somebody, I'd suggest he'd be educated in the bureaucracy and somewhat computer yeah, literate. Yeah. Knows uh, you might even uh, like Kevin, like I say, is a good one. Another one would be mass aeronautics. Yep, they've suggested people to me. Good, but uh, probably should have interviews. And have you have you thought about reaching out to any of the collegiate programs that have? Uh, airport managing roles, but have thinking not. that at least if they were a bit junior and educated, that they might be more economical for the from a budgetary standpoint. That's possible. Yeah. What's the proposed hours? Uh, it's twenty hours. I think we could it'd be twenty hours, and I think they're looking at twenty-five thousand. So. Uh, there's part-time man like guys that manage two airports, they can get a halfway decent salary. I know, uh, yeah, we lost Daniel Webster and they had programs that did that. Yeah. Yeah, know. that's a good, I, I don't know who. But they've gone, so. Yeah. The only ones I know of now are maybe Florida and out in uh, Illinois there at, uh, name slips me. Does things like that nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good idea, you know. And then of course the other thing is guys with the experience and, and the acquaintances that make a lot of this happen, you know. Hopefully it won't be a problem finding one. I don't know. Right now, nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to work. I know. I know. It's true. So, anyways, I'll, I will. Yeah. I will be available. When, oh, and I have to introduce. Probably one half. Uh, you know, to MIT. Uh, the group. The group. Yeah, I have a, a fellow that I talk to. That's you know my point of contact. We talk when he gets a group that wants to come and comes through him. And, uh, Andy knows those guys too, doesn't he? Andy does too, yeah. And then they have to let me know to build them. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I've talked to Joe already at MIT and told him that I would. I think I met him one time when you were talking to him. Down here, yeah. He comes down quite often, yeah. He tries not to, especially when the weather gets cold. I don't see him very often. <laughs> you don't, Joe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So well, he's MIT too. So. Anyways, that's a good, uh, a good group. And then, as far as the drones, been we had a few other groups flying drones down here too. So. Mm. Uh, yeah, we got the guys from uh, the jet ship program too. They haven't been up now for two years. Yeah, well, the COVID put a kibosh to a lot of work. And, that, and, and uh, the guy that ran it was having some problems with his father getting senile and all that. So that was another reason. Yeah. <coughs> the, uh, the, when, the, when the drone guys come out here, are they filing an item for that? The drone guys? We have spots for them to operate. Okay. okay we set up a an agreement with MIT and they fly over there. Okay. Yeah, they basically stay on that they stay side. on the other side of the fence. And they don't go very high. No. Okay. 400 yeah. feet is usually as high as they go. When we did it over the airport here, we know to the runway closed. Okay. Uh, when they did, surveyed it with the drones. They surveyed the whole airport with drones. Uh, but yeah, they, they don't come over the operating area at all. One time, the, they have it set up. If they lose communication, it'll automatically return to the original spot. Yeah, one of the first ones they lost. Yeah. 
Still oh, that one, that one's still, I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. We don't know where that one went. Uh, it's at the bottom of the Otter River. <laughs> but then other one they had, they lost it, and it turned back to go to the point, and it should have, the shorter turn would be to the left, but it, right. they only programmed one turn and went to the right. <laughs> They got close to the fence over here. Oh God, they were all upset. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty, uh, They're good. conscientious. <coughs> so I guess that's all I have. You guys have any questions or we can sure, no, we don't have any more? And I guess I'm looking for adjournment. Sure, I'll make a motion. We adjourn. I'll second it. There you go. <laughs> here we have it. So voted. Right. So voted. So voted. Yeah.